One of the things that we don't uh, teach enough of is the importance of choosing which patient is appropriate for crutches or not. Um, not to mention how to size the crutches and how to teach the patient how to crutch walk. Um, things that may seem intuitive are not all that intuitive sometimes and the crutches in particular are one of those things. I have to say personally I'm very conscientious and thoughtful about who we recommend crutches for. What we don't want to have happen is have somebody who may not need crutches or who may be too um, uh, immature to use them, we don't want them to first hurt themselves. Uh, for example, in Ohio uh, in the winter, if uh, we see a callous individual or uh, someone who is making light of crutch walking, I fear that they're going to uh, fall and first hurt themselves on tr after tripping on the ice, for example. So we're very c careful about who we recommend crutches for. With that said, generally, if you have a patient who you do not want to have weight bearing on an injured extremity, we will consider the use of crutches in a 10-year-old child or greater. On occasion, for a very mature and athletic type 8 or 9-year-old who is coordinated, uh, for example, a, a gymnast comes to mind who is very agile, sometimes we'll experiment with crutches with an eight or nine year old. But if you want to feel comfortable in your office setting, start thinking about using crutches 10 and over. Under 10, we're still going to use walkers, wagons, and parents who will carry the child. Once the decision has been made to use crutches, the next step is to prepare the patient for crutch walking. So we're going to turn it over to James, who's going to talk about how to size your crutches and how he then teaches the patient to use them. Here at uh, Nationwide Children, we have several different sizes and crutches. So you have to find out what how, the height of your uh, patient and then go grab that uh, crutches accordingly. Now these crutches, of course, are too short for him, but they can be sized up. I like to show demonstration to the family first before I give them to the patient. So when using the crutches, one, they should be two to three finger breaths under the axillary. They should be able to grip the grips strongly through the use of the arms, okay? Because all the weight are gonna go in the arms. He is injured on his right leg, so I'm gonna pretend my leg is injured. You want the crutches to be 12 inches from the good uninjured foot at shoulder length apart, okay? They are to grip the crutches, come through, stop, planked. That is one move. They tend to want to move all around with the crutches. We do not teach that. That is unsafe. So, again, good 12 inches off of the good foot, shoulder length apart. They're going to grab the crutches, put their arms into the weight of the crutch, come through, stop. Now, if they want to turn, for instance, they want to go left, you want to have them move the left crutch, pivot, right crutch, and then if they need to move again, left, right, and pivot. They do not take both crutches off the ground. One crutch has to be on the, on the ground at all times. So, that being said, we're going to measure that. We have to make sure these fit now. There is height and inches on one side of the crutch. I don't know what other institutions carry, but this is a guide for us to help us uh, attain the correct height for the patient. So, Zach is around 5'9". So, I am going to go to that height. And I'm going to put it under his arms to see exactly where we are. So, actually, do you see the slight bend in his arm? That is exactly what you want. And he needs to stand. When he stands straight, you need to be able to get two fingers under here. And this is exactly what I just did. So this is appropriate for him at 5'9". All right, so Dr. Leader adjusted this one for me. So we're going to put this one under Zach's left arm, have him grab the grip. Now, I want to show you something on the grips, too. A lot of people want to rotate their hand and do this. That is inappropriate. 
their palm of their hand needs to be on the top of the grip so they can bear the weight, okay? So now, Zach, I want you to bring the crutches out and you're gonna be at your shoulder length and bring that out just a little bit more. I'll be up this way because you wanna be about 12 inches. So this is where he should be starting out. So now, keeping your arms strong, I want you to take that left foot and I want you to swoop right in between the crutches and come to a stop. That is appropriate, and I want him to do it again. So, when they want to turn, I want him to take his right arm, and I want him to bring the right crutch over a little. Now bring the left crutch over a little, and he's pivoting at the same time. So this keeps his balance together, guys. This helps him so he doesn't stumble, and injures his right leg again, okay? So, I always have them do a repeat demonstration before they leave the facility so that we know that they're safe. Okay. So, the use of crutches is really one of the things that we spend the most time on uh, in terms of disposition of the patient. We're very careful about teaching all the points that James just did. Um, there are, in addition, there's a few things that we haven't discussed, such as what do we do about step walking, walking upstairs, with crutches. Well, we don't recommend that the patient uses the crutches independently to get themselves up or down a flight of stairs. What we recommend is that they have a, 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 an individual assist them uh, with walking up the steps with one a person on the uh, side of the leg that's injured to make sure that they're supported and that they don't, don't injure themselves uh, with the crutches. Notice how serious myself and James takes crutch walking. We really want the parents and the patient to be as serious when they're learning how to use them because they bring in certain techniques that they think are appropriate but really are not. And we're trying to teach them ways so that they don't first hurt themselves. So that was uh, the sizing and use of crutches. And we're gonna move on now to teach you about a few other apparatus that we use for the lower extremity injuries, including knee immobilizers and air casts, and a reshoe.